Hey all Shape here. Um, just wanted to give you a small review on uh, Torchlight 2. Uh, I've been playing this now for well, the past couple of days uh, and I had to rush the end bit a bit uh, because World of Warcraft is coming out tonight and I'm going to play, be playing that. I, re I reached level 54 um, while being done with the main storyline. I went through all the acts and the uh, storyline ended and I now have a choice to go to the map works which is basically uh, the same as the, the system that is in uh, Path of Exile uh, but here you can buy a map that are, has somewhat the same things I mean players and pets get 5% chance to cast, uh, uh, to cast call forth the skull on kill Right, uh, cast speed reduced by 50%, attack speed reduced by 50%, but plus 200% to all damage and minus 25% to uh, skill mana cost. The monsters have 10% cast speed and 10% attack speed. Um, you don't get an extra uh, drop rate or anything, um, at least not which you can see. Um, there are multiple kinds of maps like this. This is just uh, for players and pets, for example. Uh, now I can't find something that has oh here yeah five percent increased uh, experience and twenty five increased amount of gold found it must be a mod on the map itself if you want to take it so nice little touch there and you can buy one uh, go to the map selector over here choose the map and you can then go in it if you die you have to respawn in the map I didn't die yet but that's because I played on casual and that's very very easy <laughs> as casual mode would expect it to be so go in the map selector if you die you can only respawn in the map because if you don't and you respawn out of the map you won't be able to get it back uh, to get back in um, the game has basically the same things as in uh, torchlight one uh, uh, it was a pretty fun experience they have a seller of items which can also sell uh, set pieces, uh, which he doesn't now, of course. Yeah, like this, uh, Dwarf King uh, set piece. There are many uh, sets out there. Unfortunately, I I think the highest set piece I got was to uh, a three set piece uh, because you outlevel it at, at before this level. You outlevel it so fast. <laughs> Uh, that it becomes uh, uh, well, not usable anymore. So, um, they still have the enchant item. Uh, basically, you see enchantments one on this item, and it's a plus seven dexterity bonus. This one has two enchantments, uh, five mana, fifty-four health. Uh, once you un unlock the end game, the enchanter in the maps map area has the ability to enchant your item three times. But be careful because this one has one enchantment. The price of the enchantments becomes quite steep and you will lose a lot of money doing enchants throughout your leveling experience and that kind of shit so be careful what you do. Uh, the transmuter, uh, wait, uh, the enchanter, uh, in Torchlight 1 it had, an, it had a chance to destroy the item. It doesn't do that anymore so don't be afraid to enchant as many times as you want or disenchant and try it again. Uh, the transmuter gives you uh, the I think it gave you four recipes from the start and then it remembers which recipes uh, that you have unlocked. I couldn't find anything truly special to be honest. So I haven't tried that much either. Overall uh, the experience was fun, quite fast. As you can see the movement speed of these characters is very fast and it, it, it is so from the beginning. That's something that I missed that I miss in any of this other game. They treat uh, movement speed like a perk and this game doesn't. In this game it's it's just there from the beginning which I like very much. The bad thing is that you can't move any faster than this ever. Uh, there are a few items that I had that had a movement speed increase of about 3% but that's hardly noticeable. Uh, again I only played one character up to level 54 so I don't know everything about the game and I didn't read up uh, on it. I just played through it uh, well, basically as fast as I could with uh, exploring everything. Um, 
this is a quest I've read about, uh, robot parts. You need to find all the robot parts. Um, I found three at the moment. You need to find all the robot parts and then you, you can unlock a specific area. I won't go further into that because I only found three parts. I think I should have found the fourth just before the end boss. But I kind of rushed through it because World of Warcraft is uh, coming out today, uh, tonight, Mist of Pandaria. And I will be playing that for the foreseeable future. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys New Game Plus, that's another mode. If you do that, you'll get a warning. Are you sure you want to proceed to the New Game Plus mode? And as you can see, this doing so will start your adventure anew, uh, adventure anew, and all of your items, statistics, and skills will remain unchanged. But the game will begin at level 51. You will be unable to play with any characters who do not occupy the same new game plus tier. Now, as stated, what? Yeah, resume. Come on. You will be uh, at the starting zone again, so you need to play through the starting zone. Don't need time. I think this is as far it's as basically I can exactly the same. You have received a quest. Yeah. You I just to show you a little gameplay as we go along. This skill, by the way, is amazing. <laughs> Probably won't be overpowered. I saw someone play uh, um, the third difficulty level, which uh, lets the mobs take a lot more damage. Before. Sorry for the game sound being torn. We um, needed the players to, to hit a lot more before actually. I don't have enough mana. Doing some. Uh, Killing, killing the mob, so I just want to let you uh, know where you go. This is casual difficulty, casual difficulty is for when you just want to basically slash your way through the game without any difficulty whatsoever. And it does deliver on that. And um, if you're going to play the game, it's only 20 bucks, so that's not really a game breaker. Um, let me just alter that. It's not really a game breaker. And it's a very fun game to play. And I'm guessing that it will be very rewarding experience for players playing this on the hardest difficulty level. Alright, let's see. Everything is alright. There should be a map thingy here, and it isn't. No. Alright. Well, the guy that said that was mistaken. Maybe I should uh, go clear the entire first zone before the map uh, object is back again, but I highly doubt it. I don't know. Uh, basically, you're playing the same game over with mobs your level now. Um, I recommend this game uh, if you want to pay 20 bucks for it. Uh, the good things about this game, movement speed, the, 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 the fighting is polished. A difficulty level I won't comment about because it's only casual. Graphics. A little bit more childish than even uh, Diablo 3, so if that's your thing, uh, don't play this game, play Path of Exile. Uh, one thing I had a gripe about was uh, the key bindings. The only game that in, in this genre that had the, the key bindings correct so far was Diablo 3. I could bind any skill uh, on anything on my bars to my buttons on my mouse. I have a seven button mouse and I would love to see the ability to actually bind uh, your skills to the mouse in the game and not using third party software. Alright, that was just about it guys. Uh, it's a fun game, like I said, uh, if you want it and, and, and this, this type of thing is your thing, then go buy it. I will 
definitely be playing other characters, uh, maybe a little bit difficult, a little bit more difficult than this. But um, for now, I will go back to World of Warcraft for quite some time, I reckon. All right. See you guys later.